Hello everybody, today I will show you my new stuff which I get it today and uh, this stuff is my new carbon powder so in basic this carbon is carbon black and uh, if you see my previous video which I tested my graphite powder you see uh, the test of uh, conductivity only of this powder and uh, the conductivity of this powder was about uh, 7 to 5 uh, ohms per 5 centimeters uh, and if I press this powder uh, I get 0 0.7 ohms but between this and this is the difference because this is the graphite and this is the carbon so the carbon have a much more surface area like graphite and is perfect candidate for making batteries or uh, making some super caps so because the conductivity of your material which you use in your batteries is very important uh, I will make the same test which I make with uh, the graphite powder so you see is the black one black powder and it's not gray like uh, graphite so here I have my multimeter set on 200 ohms and uh, I will only put this probe in this powder the distance of this probe will be uh, 5 centimeters and you will see the conductivity of the powder eight, uh, 8 ohms 7 ohms Yeah, it's about 8 ohms per 5 centimeters. So for carbons, is this conductivity really, really good? Because lower is the res uh, resistance uh, of your active material, better will be uh, the batteries. Because if you get high uh, ohms, on your active material the self discharge of your battery will be high also uh, the conduct uh, i mean the re recharging speed will be slowly and now i have here my activated carbon and i will measure the conductivity of this activated carbon And you see the difference. It's over 100 ohms per, I don't know, 3 centimeters. Yeah, this is the activated carbon. And this is carbon black which is which have really really high conductivity only of this powder so guys I have also some little surprise for you uh, if you see my video uh, the mechanics of dual carbon battery I show it to you this stuff this is carbon foam and in basic 
you can use this foam in your batteries or super caps because it's very flexible and very light. So the surface area of this uh, of this foam is also not bad. But I have some problems with this carbon foam. Uh, for example, the conductivity of this material is not very good and also uh, the density of this foam can be a little higher also because uh, more surface area more capacity but I have some replacement for this foam and this is this this is a graffiti carbon fiber and is really awesome if you use for some uh, electrodes in your batteries or super caps because it's also very very flexible uh, also light and the conductivity of this material is awesome so you can also use this fiber like uh, freestanding electrode without uh, any metal current collector so i will measure the conductivity of this fiber so i have my multimeter which is set on 200 ohms Uh, the distance of the probes will be around 3 centimeters and I get 4.0 ohms per 3 centimeters. So the distance of this fiber is about 30 centimeters and watch now. I get 4.7 ohms per 30 centimeters. Four point three ohms three point one ohm. <laughs> 2.8 really awesome so the density of this material is much higher like this one and also uh, this fiber you can use like freestanding electrode uh, and also if you have some active material which you will use in your batteries uh, make some ink out of this active material and soak into this uh, carbon fiber and you will get really awesome electrode out of this so this is really really awesome the conductivity is awesome also if you uh, use some current collector like uh, grafoil or some stainless steel uh, will be also not bad 
Now I will make the same test which I made it with my graphite uh, powder and I will connect uh, I need to find first yeah this LED to this uh, carbon fiber so this is my positive I have my power supply set to 2 volts and 0 0.06 amps this is my negative oops <laughs> really awesome, huh? And you can bend and do with this what you want. You can also soak in some active material for improving uh, the capacity of your batteries and so on. Graphitic carbon fiber. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope this will help to you. Yeah. We see us in the next video and for now, bye.